Welcome to the Zix TV. I am the Zix, and we're here to have a look at a Lego Galaxy Squad mock. Actually, it's a Galaxy Squad mod that later became a mock. Uh, some quick backstory about this uh, this vehicle here. This is the Galaxy Squad Warp Stinger from 2013 and I'll show Billy Starbeam's uh, speeder bike in a, in a different episode there is the warp stinger and what what I do like about this I like the idea of of uh, making an insect looking vehicle for the insectoids um, what I don't like is the color scheme. The the combination of the dark red with the bright lime green, um, and there's dark red fins in the back, and the transparent neon green, and then you got the canopies in the in the dark reddish color, dark red. Um, so if I were to rate this set based on what I'm seeing here in the picture, I probably wouldn't get it. It it's, doesn't look appealing to me. I like the idea behind it, the idea of the overall uh, design of it, but I don't like the color scheme at all. So I probably, you know, would, would not have gotten this set, but I had an idea. Why not just change it and modify it more to my liking and that's what I did in early 2013 I got this set um, and instead of the uh, dark red I used white I think first first I tried to use uh, beige the tan color because it does have the uh, dark beige color in it but I settled on white white was white is a nice neutral color goes with anything so I replaced all of the uh, dark red elements with with either the the lime green or the the uh, white and I used these these pretty green canopies which are from an alien conquest set I had collected a couple of uh, a few actually alien conquest sets because I like this uh, this color here and I found a use for it so anyway um, I had the warp stinger uh, the modified warp stinger on display for about a year and then in 2014 I had another look at it and um, oh, another thing I don't like is the antenna I don't like these antenna pieces they can fall off really easily so I put some radar dishes and a cone and that is the main weapon on, on this vehicle um, a lot of modifications to it um, anyway um, my initial thought about this um, about this insectoid vehicle was this thing needs some guns because of what they're up against. They're, uh, they're the, the Galaxy Squad uh, obliterator has, is full of guns. The vaporizer has quite a few guns and missiles too. And the insectoid vehicles in general don't really have very many guns on them so I put some I, I modified the uh, this the stinger into a stinger cannon and I put uh, smaller stinger cannons on the sides so yeah I had I had this this vehicle on display for about a year in early 2014 I believe I had another look at it and the tail seemed pretty useless to me. It has this uh, ball shooter 
down here with the, uh, the purple ball that shoots out you squeeze it and it shoots out um, I don't use that feature I don't I don't use ball ball shooters so um, my thought was to either take the tail off altogether or put some guns on it somehow and I opted for the first option I took the tail off uh, because it seemed pretty useless to me and did some more modifications to the pilot's cabin and added a uh, a triple a triple technic part that so that you have uh, you can have two um, legs shorten the legs here's the warp stinger with its really long legs that hold it up because you know the tail and this is what I ended up with the insectoid star hopper this is a uh, Zemdari vehicle center that a bit and I have my new turntable here, so let's have a look at it. I put uh, engines in the back. The back has a cavity that goes in where the tail is connected in the back so it has a cavity back there with a double uh, pinhole thing for the uh, uh, for the tail to plug into so I redesigned the the back portion of it um, and put some engines there and these are the same type of engine that appears on the transport bug And this was the first first time that I used this type of um, engine. Uh, the insectoids have a they, they their hand weapons. This is a hand weapon here attached there to the side there. Their hand weapons have, use pink energy or you know the, the transparent pink. So I thought, why not have their engines use uh, transparent pink as well which way was I going? was I going this way? now um, and this was the first vehicle that went, one of the first vehicles that I got where they used these um, curvy parts with the little console on top warp stinger has I think they used the the dark red it's hard to make out there but it's got this thing sticking up in the front so I took a uh, control panel that's a printed piece from the the, um, the, the, the smaller ship the uh, what is that called the space former took that and he's got a uh, complete control panel for our, for our um, pilot here So, in addition to modifying the uh, the main cannon, this is the main stinger cannon on the thing. It shoots a uh, yellowish green laser. It has a uh, slow rate of fire with the laser, but is very damaging. And on the sides are the pink energy 
Stinger cannons. The uh, the main insectoid handgun is, is a little blaster gun that has a little pink thingy on the end so they shoot pink lasers um, so I just ran with that and in designing the laser cannons and stuff the energy cannons whatever you want to call them for my insectoid vehicles I, I was I collected a whole, whole bunch of uh, little pink circle things transparent pink circle things and these little that's a double transparent pink circle thing at the end they're indicating that that's more powerful than a uh, little hand pistol um, there was a time when these little pink circle things were uh, kind of hard to come by they were kind of rare at, at, in 2013 you could get them in galaxy squad sets and if it had a pistol uh, you, you put one on the edge of the pistol and then there's an extra one but I was I was collecting these and I bought some friend sets that have the, the pink circle things so don't overlook those friend sets they they can be useful you can get uh, I think it was the the city park cafe that had a lot of these little little pink circle things in it and you know I'm designing my own I'm designing my own space theme here or I'm, I'm taking galaxy squad and making it my own is what I'm doing what I was doing during 20 2013 uh, redoing the color scheme using the white instead of the the dark red um, modifying the vehicles uh, adding cannons laser cannons to them and stuff like that uh, so you, you can you can get get some good use out of uh, Lego friends sets because they had at the time they the, the, there were some of them that had the little pink things little pink circle things now these are a lot easier to come by so um, design these uh, gray cannons for the for the side and they have a fast rate of fire but they're not as damaging as the laser and then going to the side we got our landing gears it looks kinda like a grasshopper that's why I call it a star hopper got his uh, hand weapon on the side there and I'll have a look at that in a moment here's a yeah. um, the wings are shield projectors they project the shields around the ship the this vehicle has I think half of the shield strength of a transport bug so this is a monster starfighter here it also has warp capability it can go to warp on its own and um, there's another look at the engines in the back same style as the uh, the engine arrays on, on the transport bug on oh, these parts here we're in the dark grayish color uh, at the time in 2013 they didn't have them in white yet in 2014 we start to get these in white in various sets so that's a cool little detail I was able to do there and to fill out the the white part of the uh, of the ship and at the time that I modified the warp stinger um, I just used these these green canopies because I like the color but I later decided that green canopies are uh, radiation projectors they project green radiation and we've heard about this in 
the videos I did about the transport bug and the command bug. Uh, the radiation projectors project green radiation and green radiation has a minor healing and nutritional effect on insectoid people, on the Zimdari. And that's pretty much everything. Um, the insectoid people can survive in a vacuum, even in space. They uh, store up oxygen in their bodies over time. And when he enters a... Um, when he enters a vacuum, his lungs collapse and he starts using the stored up oxygen. They're like oxygen camels. Oxygen camels. He starts using the stored up oxygen and then when he re-enters a breathable atmosphere, his lungs inflate with air and normal breathing resumes. I'll talk more about that maybe in a different video and exactly how it works and everything. But this is a heavy assault starfighter for the uh, Zemdari Empire and it's based on the the, the cabin design of the uh, warp stinger with the, the shorter legs added, engines in the back, modified um, displays and controls up front And in a moment, I'll have a look at the minifigure. Here is our insectoid pilot. He is a... Let's see, there's bugoids, mosquitoids. He's a mosquitoid. There's bugoids, mosquitoids, and uh, mantazoids. And these are some of the best science fiction minifigures that LEGO has ever done. The, the detail on these guys, the design, I like the, uh, the head design, the ridges in the back, the antennae, the eyes. I, I like all three of the insectoid character designs. I think they're the best alien, alien species minifigures that Lego has ever done. And he's got the pretty green wings in the back. I think they're much better than, than previous science fiction um, themes that Lego Lego did during the 2000s. I, th I think 2013 Galaxy Squad is the best Lego space theme in, in my opinion. And here is his weapon. It's kind of big. It's a it's a black scorpion and a little pan underneath and a little radar dish. And it shoots a, a ring of uh, pink energy. Hoshpup already did that in a video. Um, in a little story, Galaxy Squad story, he painted in the uh, shooting rings a ring of a circle of uh, pink energy and I was tickled by that to see that come up with an idea you, you know well it, it seems pretty obvious that this would shoot a uh, a ring or or a circle of, of, of pink energy because it, it looks like a projector with the radar dish in front so uh, yeah, more than more than one person would come up with that idea based on this. So I guess this would be like a heavy assault uh, uh, weapon, a uh, very powerful hand weapon to use uh, out in the field. Oh, oh! I pulled his. I pulled his hand out. That's never happened before. 
His hands are, are the dark red color and his antennae are the dark red color and he's got dark red uh, detailing on the body but that, that really doesn't bother me. What the, the dark red stuff that bothered me was, was on the ship, on the warp stinger. Um, this, this doesn't, you know, it, it, it looks fine to me. So just a quick note about that. And this clips onto the side here. And there he is. And that is my, uh, Lego Galaxy Squad mock based on the Warp Stinger's body design. I took the tail off. It is an insectoid Zandari Starhopper. Thank you for watching.